I'm Dr. Garcia, and today I want to talk to you about how is it that a rhinoplasty is performed. Rhinoplasty is one of the most complex surgeries that a facial plastic surgeon can perform. More times than not, revision rhinoplasty is being performed, unfortunately. So I want to talk to you about the basic anatomy and the basic surgical principles behind rhinoplasty. Most times, individuals come to see me because they have an enlarged hump or they have a wide tip or they might have difficulty breathing due to a deviation of their septum. Anatomically, what's happening is that you have two paired nasal bones. The yellow cartilage indicates the upper lateral cartilage, which helps you breathe. The red cartilage here is the extension of the septum. In the front, it is cartilage, and in the back, as it moves back, it becomes bone. There's two horseshoe-shaped cartilages here called your lower lateral cartilages, and they define the width of the nose and the refinement of the tip of the nose. The two bones here, and you can see here on profile, the, the bone here is what dictates the height of the nasal dorsum and oftentimes the cartilage is going to dictate the height of the nasal dorsum lower down. Make sure that you seek the advice of a facial plastic surgeon for these types of procedures. Thank you.